Welcome back, this is Yamma Jack with Gunslinger Suicidal Desolation. I reckon we bring it up. <laughs> We're going to be moving up to hell on earth in uh, very little time. Smackaroonie. See you later. Wait. Bunk. Just give me a kill. I didn't get a kill, but I got a hit. I got a hit. I'm satisfied. I'm contented. I can be happy with that, you know? It's not always about succeeding, but just uh, being better than everybody else, right? about losing less and, you know, it's uh, I'm making a joke but that's kind of true right it's not always about succeeding but uh, about uh, just uh, continuing to try and uh, improving slowly and gradually until uh, eventually eventually you get to the point where you can succeed you know just uh, just focus on losing less and uh, eventually you know, losing less will mean not losing at all. And then uh, you keep on, you keep on making it, uh, making it better, and and, and uh, you get to a point where uh, where you're consistent and successful. Mind you, it doesn't work for everything because you can't just try and be less poor. Lose less at being rich. Yeah. But if you're trying to learn, like you know, Talos and RuneScape, I mean, it's a it's a it's a fine way to to view it. You know, I think anyway. Depends on the context. Yeah, and speaking of context, it was I talked about this in a stream the other day, but uh, my uh, my counselor forever ago. She um, I was talking about buses and um, sitting on them and how I don't like sitting on them because people bother you. Uh, so she told me a story about how one of her uh, other patients, one of her other clients had a, uh, a stim. A stim is like a, a fidget thing that oh, autistic people stop. typically do to, to like That's stimulate themselves, you know? Just to, to feel something. Like I often tap my legs or shake or twirl my head or whatever, right? Um, and one of her patients would like shake, which is a, a very, very, very common uh, thing for, for autistic people to do. And uh, they said that they, uh, they didn't like, you know, people looking at them weird while they're shaking or whatever, and they, they felt uh, you know, whatever, right? They, they didn't, they didn't want to be weird for shaking in public, so, um, she told them to, to just listen to music and it's not gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, you know? It's gonna be totally fine. Nobody will think you're, uh, unusual for that because now you're just jamming to music, right? Uh, so, uh, he was like, okay, well, I don't really like listening to music because, uh, it, like, hurts my ears or whatever, right? So he didn't, he didn't want to listen to music and she's like, it's fine. Just put in headphones that aren't playing music, and people will still think that you're jamming to music because that's what it looks like, right? And uh, that's one of the few things that has kind of stuck with me for um, throughout uh, throughout my years, just because uh, it, it's so simple, right? You just you put in headphones, and now all of a sudden you're normal, you know. And uh, it's, it's all about manipulating the the context that uh, that you appear in, and. Uh, just, just the smallest change can change so much, you know? They can make in one slight alteration to uh, to how you're handling yourself and how you're, you're, you're dealing with situations and all of a sudden, you know, all of your anxiety about it is gone, you know? All of, all of your, everything is gone. It feels fine now, right? It's, it's totally manageable and uh, it's just, it's just one small, you just put in some headphones. Which is, uh, come on, shoot, shoot him, shoot him! Which is, uh, very, very simple, and, uh, it works for, for, for so many things, and I also like to think about it because, um, you know, like, okay, please don't kill me, I don't really want to die. Um, if, if you think about something, and you're thinking about how, how somebody's responding to something, right? Like it could just be one small thing that's 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 ha that has them off for that day. It could just be one tiny little thing that that went wrong, and uh, so much changed because of that, right? Like maybe they forgot their headphones on the bus today, and uh, they couldn't shake, and now they're they're really frustrated or something. Maybe 
Smith. You know, they uh, they left their wallet at home and they were leaving, and they had to drive back home, and it's kind of thrown their whole schedule off, or, or you know, whatever, right? Like the the smallest things can make the biggest changes sometimes, and uh, to me, anyway, I think that uh, it's important to to understand that everybody has their own things. I should not have skipped the trader while we're down here. That was a mistake. Uh, it's important to to remember that you know, everybody has their own things that they're dealing with, and you never you never know how somebody really is normally if if you've just met them once. Like it happens a lot when you're working in like uh, a customer service area. Like you'll have uh, customers who come in once or whatever, and they're in a bad mood. You know, it's especially true if you're working at like uh, uh, a dentist office or doctor clinic or. Um, car repair or computer repair or, or anything like that, right? Because in these kinds of situations, typically when you get people you've never seen before, they have a problem that you can solve for them and that's why they're here, right? Like that's 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 the point, right? And uh, you know, a lot of them will be like, oh, I had the worst customer come in today. I'm like, well, you'd probably be a little bit, you know, off if your computer was down and Maybe you couldn't get to work today because of that, and like, you know, just just give people the benefit of the doubt. Now, if they're coming in constantly and they're being like, you know, entitled little jerks about it, like, I mean, yeah, they're being they're being jerks. But I think that uh, you know, sometimes it just comes down to somebody forgetting their earbuds when they went for a bus ride, and now their whole day's ruined and they're a little bit off. You know, sometimes it can be something as simple as that that. Uh, that's got somebody in a bad mood, right? And it, it, it kind of compounds, right? It kind of continues to, to grow and, and expand as uh, as this person annoys you as a customer, and then you go and you make uh, you complain about it, and, and other people are like, I just don't care about listening to your complaints. And uh, then they go and they complain about it because you know everybody wants to complain about something, and then those people don't want to listen to to their complaints, and it's just. It's just this this whole whole mess that uh, that spirals out of control because one person forgot their uh, their earbuds on the bus today, which is crazy, right? It's crazy. So I always like to uh, cool stuff, give people the benefit of the doubt. You know, maybe their uh, maybe their kid was at school and and was getting bullied, and they're just really fed up of having to to deal with anything right now. Maybe. You know, who knows? Who knows? It could be it could be any number of things. Any any small thing can can change. Maybe they were dealing with somebody else who who who, you know, forgot their their earbuds on the bus, and now they're in a bad mood because of that. You know. So uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of stuck with me because of that. Because it's just uh, the smallest things can make such a huge change to to your outlook and your 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 mood and and how you're feeling. That. Uh, you know, it's going to be able to happen for other people too, right? Nobody's really unique in, in that sense, so... You know, as, as unique as we all... Come on, you stinking siren. As unique as we all are as, as people with uh, with individuality, we... Uh, there's, there's a lot of us, so... You know, maybe it's a one in a million chance that somebody thinks the same way as you. There's a whole lot of millions of people out there. There's a whole lot of them, so nobody's really unique. Um, in, in every in every sense, you know, it's always somebody who's. Uh, you know, if you're ever asking yourself, like, hey, does anybody else do this? The answer is always yes. It's always yes. You're never the only person to do something. Not anymore. Maybe you know, back in the day, you know that. You know, obvi I know uh, obviously sometimes the answer is yes, right? Like, uh, you know, if you discover a new prime that nobody's ever discovered before, you're like, has ever has any has anybody ever? check this number if it's a prime and the answer is obviously no because nobody's discovered that before right like that's that's the new biggest prime number now right um that's that's like uh, you know exceptions to every rule but uh you know nobody's really unique if you ever ask yourself if anybody's done something before the answer is always yes unless you're a mathematician or an inventor you know hey has anybody ever uh, decided to to put a chicken on top of uh, like with a camera mount and then you use it as like a gimbal or is it a gimbal or a gyro I think it's a gyro right the answer to that is yes by the way 
<laughs> that has definitely been done. Yeah, we got uh, like people, right? Humans, human beings, the uh, the animal, as as a species. We uh, we have gyroscopic eyes, right? So you can hear that I'm moving my head back and forth right now, but I can still see the game just fine, and I can still move stuff because my eyes are gyroscopic, and they're not actually. I'm dizzy now. My eyes are gyroscopic, and uh, so as I move my head back and forth, the eyes stay focused on exactly the same place. They don't move because uh, that's what gyroscope, that's what uh, you know, gyroscopic stuff does, right? It's uh, it's able to to hold its position, and uh, despite the things around it moving, right? Like that's 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 what it is, right? Basically, basically. Um, for chickens, their eyes are like not doing that so good. Um, their heads stay still, so their heads stay still. Their uh, their eyes will, um, their eyes will not stay still if they move their head. Their their eyes will stay looking straight. I don't think they can move their eyes at all, um, but maybe they can. I don't I don't know. Either way, uh, they will like if you pick up a chicken and you move its body around. As long as you're not moving it so much that like its head has to move. Then its head will just stay stationary, and you can like slide its neck around and stuff by like holding it and moving around. There's lots of videos out there and stuff, and uh, so the moral of the story is that people have definitely strapped a camera to the top of a chicken's head and <laughs> used it as like a gyroscope for filming stuff. It's definitely been done. So if that's your idea for being unique, that you've done that. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Get grenaded. He's like way downstairs, right? Well, he was. He's, he's right here now, but he was way downstairs before. I should have tanked that. Because now we're going to get, uh, now we're going to get bad stuff. Yeah, tank it. And I don't think we're going to get it. Now we're going to get it. I'm kidding. I was kidding. When I said we're not going to get it, I meant to uh, not say the not. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know where we're going on this episode. Oh, dump the money, dump the money, dump the money. Can't have any money. All right, look at all these. Look at all these stats. Look at them all. I know some people care about it. I know that the uh, the the things hide it. Like all the information's right over here, and that's where the the cards go <laughs> at the end of the video. So I know that it covers it. Um, Nobody's complained about it yet, so I'm not going to change it. <laughs> but I know that it does it. I'm, I'm aware of the problem. I have no idea how to fix it. Because I don't want to put them on the left side. I like them on the right side. So. Yeah. <sighs> Yawning, I'm tired. I think I'm going to be able to wake up tomorrow. On time. I think it's going to happen. So I'm really tired. I got like five hours of sleep. So I think that uh, tomorrow I will be able to wake up. We're doing an Iron Man stream tomorrow. I'm super excited about that because I haven't been progressing on my Iron Man at all. Uh, tomorrow o'clock. Uh, tomorrow o'clock at two. What? Tomorrow at uh, 1400 Pacific time. That is two o'clock p.m. Pacific time for all y'all who don't understand 24-hour time. But I'm assuming that all y'all do. Uh, we'll be streaming some more RuneScape 3 on the Iron Man. With, uh, should be good. Should be good. We'll be doing, uh, probably like, uh, some questing. Well, definitely some questing. I've got quests to do, so that's what we'll be doing. Um, and, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of go from there. And that's, that's, that's gonna be the tomorrow's stream. Super excited about that one because, honestly, the RuneScape streams are. They're, uh, they're, they're my, uh, that, that's exactly what I like doing. I'm, I've been thinking, honestly. Because, like, I really like the RuneScape streams. Um, I liked the Death's Gambit stream as well. Although the game itself wasn't so great. I did enjoy playing another game. Um, but the RuneScape streams, they were just, it was just, it was the most chill. You know what I mean? It was, uh, it was as good as it could be. That was, uh, that was the best stream I think I could have. So I'm not sure about a lot of things. But one of the things that I'm not sure about 
is uh, is the schedule for for the streaming because we've got uh, like a lot of different things. I might make Friday another RuneScape stream. I might do that, but I uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We might do an hour of PVM on the main, an hour on the iron, and then an hour of some other game. Because I do want to have the three separate hours of three separate things to upload over Friday, Saturday, Sunday to, to keep some content going on on those days. Uh, but I don't feel like good about just splitting up three hours of PVM. I'd want there to be a break in between so that the, there's kind of a consistency. Although I could also just say no to content on Saturdays and Sundays. I don't work on Saturdays and Sundays, so... I mean... Having less content on them is fine, I guess, but I, I, just, I don't feel good about it. Whereas having having like three separate games on Friday feels really, really good to me. That seems good. Um, so, I don't know. It's it's, uh, it's a decision to make. But I really like the RuneScape stream, so we will definitely be having in the future some kind of uh, events and stuff. Uh, where we do a week of RuneScape. Like, I might do like a week of racks or something like that, where we do three hours of racks every day or something. And, uh, like, it turns into a video or, or whatever. Um, maybe, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, the, the thing is, is you lose content. But that's stream VODs, which would still get uploaded. And so, I don't know. We, I can make a video at the end of it, and that would be, like, a, a fun little content thing. But, that's yeah, uh, it's a problem, man. It's a problem. Lots of stuff to think about. Lots of stuff to think about. I'd love more uh, input. Not much input has been given, really, but can't blame you. I don't know what to do either. I'm the one that has to do it. No, please, please, please. So uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, I like I like the RuneScape stream a lot though, because uh, the PVM, like honestly, we made 40 mil that hour or that uh, that stream. And that just that felt good, right? That felt good. I want to do that more. Um. I want to have an, I want to have an excuse to do some PVM in RuneScape because uh, currently I just I don't have the time really outside of like Saturdays and Sundays. But um, I'm kind of like preventing myself from doing some of the PVM because uh, I don't want to complete the Greg log off stream and yeah I don't know it's a lot to uh, lot to deal with. It's it's weird because I uh, when I initially started working on doing the uh, the streaming stuff right like I knew that it'd be a lot more work obviously that's obvious right like that's not wow but like you know it's obvious right um, that was a really good wow too but um, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. I uh, what was I even talking about dude I knew, be, I knew it would be a lot more work, right? Like, obviously, it's going to be a lot more work. You're adding a lot more content. Um, but I didn't realize how much more thinking I'd be doing. You know, like, uh, me, 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 no think. I don't know, man. Um, but it's, uh, it's it's incredible how much more thinking I have to do and how much, uh, how much more stuff I have to think about. I mean, it, it's obvious when I think about it now because there's more content. I'm going to have to think about more content, right? Like, hello, uh, Captain Obvious. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's me calling. Um, I forgot you existed for a moment. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it, it's a lot to think about. And I, uh, I've said that like a billion times now. But like that's that's really what I have to say about it. Is, uh, it, is it is a lot. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I do want to do more RuneScape streams. I'm just I'm not sure where I can fit them in. Cause Wednesday, I mean, I I could do Wednesday. Could be uh well no Wednesday is kind of like a like RPG kind of thing that we're doing. So I can't really do RuneScape on Wednesdays. Um, I don't want to get rid of Mondays because that's my Monster Hunter day, and I I'm really looking forward to that as well. I don't want to get rid of the Fridays either, because I'm really looking forward to that. I don't know, like, I, I can't think of anywhere to fit in the streams, but I want to stream more more, uh, more RuneScape. But I, I just I can't think of anywhere that I could possibly fit it in. I guess what I could do 
is uh, is get to making YouTube content of it. That way, I'm able to like make progress in the things and have an excuse to do the things that I want to do, um, and just don't have time to do really. Um, so I, I guess I could do that. I just it requires editing. It, it requires editing. It necessitates edit, like time, you know, and like editing a RuneScape video. I mean. If I'm going to edit a video, it takes me like an hour or two, typically, to take it. Like, I have a lot of experience with editing it. Like, I've done a lot of content in my uh, in my lifetime. But, um, not like professional editing, but like for, for the kind of content that I'd be wanting to make, I've done hundreds of episodes of it, you know. And, uh, so I know what I'm doing, and I know how long it's going to take. And it takes like an hour or two, at minimum, to, to get it all in there, and then get it all lined up right, and make sure that the audio is right, and... Uh, get everything balanced properly, and then fix any of the light bugs, add any special effects that I might want for for lighting up dark scenes or whatever, and I think it's a lot of work, and I don't enjoy it. It's it's not work that, uh, like the, um, the streaming and the YouTube and all the stuff that I'm doing right now is also a lot of work, but it's stuff that I enjoy, right? Like, spending three hours streaming is like, wow, that was fun. I can't possibly do more. But that was fun. You know, streaming is like the same kind of thing, right? I can't possibly do more. It's just not fun along the way. It's rewarding, and I might be able to, to get away with having some more RuneScape content coming out, but... I don't want to be a RuneScape YouTuber. I don't want to be a RuneScape streamer. That's not what I want my focus to be. I don't want to... You know, maybe, maybe one day we get a golden gnome or something for being a, a dope-ass... Uh, RuneScape streamer, you know, but uh, not today, not today, not anytime soon. <laughs> it'll be, it'll be a long time before that gay comes. Before that gay comes, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a while before, uh, before we get a golden gnome, if ever, if ever. If, yeah, I don't, I don't even think we'll ever get a nomination for it. Um, but you know, maybe I don't, I don't. It's not, it's my, it's not my goal either, right? Like I'm not pushing for that. I don't. I don't care about being the. I don't care about being a. a I don't. I don't mind being uh, not known for RuneScape. I want to be known for, like everything, right? I want. I want people to know me as the person who does everything. You know, I don't want to be known as somebody who does RuneScape. Finding like a RuneScape specific audience isn't going to help me. It's. It's just not. Um, and if I did that, then I'd have to like focus more on RuneScape. And you know, those people aren't. They're not going to want to watch Death Gambit. They're not going to want to watch. Um, uh, Monster, Mo uh, Monster Hunter, they're not going to want to watch. You know, any of these other series that we have. Um, so it's not it's not the kind of audience that I'm looking to build, really. But I do want to do more of it because it was really fun. It's kind of the... Uh, I don't know. What's the word for it? Where it's kind of... Um, I always get these mixed up, but like... Um, I want to do more of it, but it's not the kind of content I want to make. Um, so I can't do it. Like, I just, it's, uh... There, there, is a, there is a word for it, I believe, but I don't know what it is. I would like to make more RuneScape content, though. I really like to do... Uh, I might do some boss kills and stuff, um... Because I'm pretty good at bossing. I'm pretty good at PVM. Uh, so I could do some, like, boss tutorials. And, uh, not necessarily tutorials and guides necessarily, but, like, commentary as I, as I play through uh, a boss run and, and kind of just explain what I'm doing as I go so that uh, people can maybe get a better idea of, of what's kind of expected from the boss and how you do it well. And, um, yeah, that, that might be something I did like I did with, uh, with Telos. That was mostly to share with some clanmates, but, um, you know, something similar along those lines, but without the background music and... Um, with uh, with better with better voice and more clear sound and you know all that. Okay, yeah, yeah, sweet. Oof, jeez, we went flying, dude. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna clip that. I'm gonna clip that. I'm on. Uh, I'm on my streaming. I'm on my. I'm on my streaming. Uh, set up right now. So if somebody follows me, you're going to get to see it. I set that up for my uh, for my pal, Rye. Rhyme. Rhymey son. 
Remy son. Remington. Because he wanted the uh, he wanted the follow notification for when he followed. So I set that up for him. So if we get a follow, it's gonna be there. But I did turn off the now playing because we didn't have that playing for the gambit, the the death gambit. Um. So, yeah, none none of that. But you got to see me uh, me capture the clip. <laughs> I'm tired. I am tired. I got like uh, I got like groups and stuff from my OBS sources. It's great. I love it. And it's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.